but the feeling is there so we can save that feeling in in our hearts and next to uh Raseshwari is also a friend Vaishnavi Vaishnavi's first time yeah. no she's first time here in Vrindavan but actually it feels that you are here always <laughs> doesn't feel it's the first time and she also wants to say a few things about herself and and how it is to be in Vrindavan yeah yeah okay garden she she talked in german and uh, i will try to translate so much anfang september wurde ich noch gar nicht was packt die yoga uh in the beginning of september this is yeah this year i didn't even know what bhakti is mm -hmm. i had no clue yeah und um ich bin seit über 10 Jahren mit Yoga Vidya in Bad Meinberg verbunden. Since 10 years I'm connected to uh, Bad Meinberg Yoga Vidya Center. Und habe dort auch von ähm, Sukadev meinen spirituellen Namen nach meiner Yogalehrer Ausbildung bekommen. So I did my yoga teacher training there and I also received a spiritual name by Sukadev Prabhu. Mhm, Vaishnavi. So my name is Vaishnavi. Und ähm, ich wusste eigentlich gar nicht, was dieser Name heißt. I was I didn't know what the meaning of this name. What is the meaning of this name? Ja. Yeah. Und ähm, ich habe die Heiler Ausbildung bei Jana Balabadas gemacht. I made a, a um a training to become a, a healer, a therapeutic healer, uh and that I did with uh, Jana Balabadas who also lives in in Bad Nein. Mm -hmm. Und habe gesehen, mit wie viel Liebe und Hingabe er unterrichtet. And I experienced with how much love and dedication he is teaching his students, Janavalava. Und alle 14 Tage ähm, chantet er eine Stunde das Mahamantra. So every fortnight he is chanting for one hour the Mahamantra. Und ähm, ich bin dort hingegangen und habe gemerkt, dass ganz viel in mir passiert. So I went there to this mantra chanting and I just felt that how many like much starting happening inside of me. Mir sind die Tränen gelaufen und ich hatte das Gefühl, ich möchte so mitsingen, wie ich noch nie mitgesungen habe. Tears started flowing from my eyes and I had this feeling that I want to sing with like we never had this feeling in my life that I really want to sing with my full heart together. Und hinterher war ich immer ganz erfüllt und so ein Gefühl als ob man so ein bisschen schwebt. And after the chanting I always felt very fulfilled and kind of uh, floating above the ground. Und immer wenn ich in Bad Meinberg war, ähm, bin ich dort zum Chanten gegangen. So every time I, I, I visited Bad Meinberg, that uh, place, I always uh, did go for the chanting. Und dann kam im Sommer die Ausschreibung, dass ähm, Bajana, Sunda und Anuragini und Jana Valavalas ein Bhakti Wochenende in Bad Meinberg geben. And then I saw the message that in the summer, uh, Janavalava, Brajanath Prabhu, Vrinda Didi, and Anuragini, Anuragini are organizing our Bhakti mm -hmm. workshop over yeah. the weekend. Mm -hmm. Und da habe ich mich sofort angemeldet, obwohl ich gar nicht wusste, was das ist. Aber I immediately subscribed without knowing what that is all about, but I immediately subscribed myself to that workshop. Und da habe ich Raseshwari kennengelernt. And I met Raseshwari there at the workshop. Und ich habe gehört, dass die drei nach Indien fahren wollen und Raseshwari auch gesagt hat, oh, ich möchte auch nach Indien fahren. Und da war so eine kleine Idee, ach, das wäre ja schön. And they told me that uh, the three of them, Rajana, Vrinda, Didi and Anuragini, they're uh, going to Vrindavan and Raseshwari herself also said, I'm going to Vrindavan. Then it just... Uh, A click uh, idea came to me why not i can also come und äh uh, Adeshwari hat ihr Visum gestellt und ich habe gesagt ach nee lieber nicht und ähm um, dann kam eine E-Mail von ihr mit einem Satz runter und der letzte Satz an der E-Mail war 
bist du dir sicher, dass du nicht mitkommen willst? So, Rasheshwari applied for the visa and I was still not sure. I thought, oh, maybe better not. I don't go to India. Then I received the email from Rasheshwari and the last sentence which she wrote there was, are you sure that you don't want to come? <laughs> Nein, ich war mir nicht sicher. I was not sure, that was the thing. Und ich habe den nächsten Tag das Visum gestellt. Next day I applied for the visa. Und den nächsten Tag war es da. And I got it uh, the day after. Und den nächsten Tag war ich Flüge gekommen. And the day after the, the tickets were booked. Und Rajeshwari hat das hier Munga Mandir uh, für uns reserviert. And Rajeshwari uh, arranged the rooms to stay here in Munga Mandir. Ja, und jetzt bin ich hier. And now I'm here. <lacht> und wie fühlst du dich hier? How do you feel wow. here? Um, ich habe ganz, ich spüre ganz viel Liebe. Ich spüre sehr offene Herzen und um, ja, offene Menschen. Mensch mit offenem Herz. I feel a lot of love. I feel that people are very open, that their hearts are very open here. Um, ich nehme viele Düfte wahr, ich nehme viele Geräusche wahr. Manchmal ist es mir zu viel, also auch zu viele Eindrücke. A lot of impression for the senses, a lot of smells, sounds. At times it's a bit overwhelming. <lacht> Und ich bin vor ein paar Tagen um, durch die Straße gegangen und habe mich ganz leicht gefühlt. A few days ago I was walking through the streets here in Vrindavan and I felt uh, myself very light, very much at ease. Und ähm, so ein Bewusstsein von was für ein Glück, dass ich hier sein darf. And I had this realization how blessed, fortunate I am to be here. Und dennoch fordert es mich manchmal, dass ich auch merke, die Vorträge, das, was ich sehe, was ich höre, was ich schmecke, das ist ganz schön viel. At, at times I, I feel it's a bit challenging, uh, all the impressions, all the uh, classes, the sharing, all the, what I'm seeing, what I'm eating, what I'm tasting. Um, at times it's, I feel it's challenging and overwhelming. Ja. Yeah. Und ähm, ich glaube, ich kann das noch gar nicht fassen. Ich glaube, alles andere passiert, wenn ich zu Hause bin. I think right now I cannot really understand, comprehend everything. I feel it will happen once I'm back home. Und ich bin schon in anderthalb Wochen wieder zu einem Bhakti, zu einer Bhakti-Woche. Also habe ich mich schon angemeldet. And I already subscribed uh, myself for the next uh, Bhakti uh, Workshop in Bad Meinberg. Ja. In Bad Meinberg. Ja. <lacht> Damit ich gleich auf dem Weg bleibe. So that I stay in the flow. Like Gurudev always says, stay ja. in the flow. So ja. Vaishnavi will stay, you will stay in the flow. Ja, genau. Okay. Ja, yeah. thank you. Thank <lacht> you. Wonderful. Any um, any questions to to them, to the two of them? Like, uh, if, you, if anyone would like to uh, ask a question here in the room or in the Zoom, we could maybe take a, also to Kundalata Didi, of course. Okay, everyone is uh, filled oh, with, with thank, you. thank you so much. Yeah. Very beautiful. Yeah. Um, then we uh, move to our uh, next uh, devotee who today would like to uh, actually sing something for us. Uh, Govinda Prem, are you there? And my, are you ready? Ja, Gopinath, kann, kannst du mich hören, Gopinath? Ich höre dich immer, im Herzen. <lacht> Meine Internetverbindung ist nicht so gut, deswegen frage ich nach. 
but we can hear you very nicely. Okay. Are you ready? So, um, yes, I'm ready. Um, before I start with my, my little bhajan, I want to say something uh, in the spirit of this month of Christmas time. Um, I must say, before I before I meet you, Rade Rade Gurudev. Rade Rade. I must I must say before I meet you, Gurudev, I have uh, not such a positive attraction to Jesus Christ because the sign of a crucifixion was always a blockage for me. But in your wonderful lectures, Gurudev, you repeatedly express your deep love for Jesus. You reveal to us his clear Swarup Shakti, his pure love as a son for his eternal father, his day bhava, his one-pointedness. This is so wonderful what you uh, share with us, your love for Jesus Christ. So uh, that um, in, it came in my mind, it is like, Jesus is like Haridas Thakur, also among enemies with physical agony. And even in the face of death, he is always focused on his relationship with his father, unbreakable and always present in the hearts and minds of pure souls. He takes care of the world. What an amazing grace. And now I will start with my little bhajan for your pleasure, Gurudev, and for the pleasure of your Vaishnava family. Amazing grace. How sweet your song, you say, a wretch like me. I once was lost, but you me found. Was blind, but now I can see amazing grace. How sweet you song you save a wretch like me. I was so but you was blind, but now I see Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. Krishna, Krishna, Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare, Hare Krishna. Krishna, 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 Hare, Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, 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 Hare, Hare, Rama. 
Radharani, 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 Radharani. Radharani, Radharani, Radhe Govinda, Govinda Radhe, Radhe Govinda, Govinda Radhe, Radhe Govinda, Govinda Radhe. Radhe Govinda, Govinda Radhe. Guru Manjari, Guru Manjari. Guru Manjari, Guru Manjari. Guru Manjari, Guru Manjari. Guru Manjari, Guru Manjari, Guru Manjari. Radhe Radhe. Radhe Radhe. Radhe Radhe. Radhe Radhe. Thank you for the possibility. <laughs> very, very prema. Rade. Rade. Ciao, yeah. Thank you, dear Govinda uh, Prem. Beautiful. Beautiful. Very beautiful. And Thank you for the possibility. Thank you. <laughs> Radi Radi. I know that you write very nice uh, poems, but I didn't know that you are a very nice singer. So that's very happy. Happy that you uh, shared this with us also. Any question the time Maybe also. Oops. Very fast. Mangala. You had to win the frame. I just remembered you had this very beautiful um, um, poem about Guru Dev, about Guru Manjri, which you some months ago shared in one of the uh, Zooms. Okay. Do you remember which? Could could you share that with us, just briefly? Uh, <laughs> I. I, I think it was based on a word. Um, I, I can I, I can hmm, I cannot remember exactly what you mean now. Hmm. I'm also I, I just remember you had a very beautiful you wrote something about Guru Manjari, something you know what the meaning for of her in your life, something you read to us like I think half a year ago or even longer. So I just uh -huh. remembered <laughs> I, I, I also <laughs> I also uh, remember Gopinath there was uh, one point I saw my myself as a, a worshiper of uh, Mora Ganga mm -hmm. and uh, uh, what the worshiper of Mora Ganga is doing he serves he gives back to Mora Ganga what anyway not belong to him, mm -hmm. namely the water. And mm -hmm. I want to say, your Gurudev, my Guru Manjari, what all what I have and good qualities, all what I have and spiritual advancement, it comes from you, my Guru mm -hmm. Manjari. It is mm -hmm. not from me, myself, what I have. Uh, what I call myself, this is my uh, Mano Vritis, <laughs> but this is not very positive. But what you give me, Gurudev, all you bring me to the lotus feet of Radharani. 
that is uh, my life and my soul, this service for Radharani. <laughs> and that uh, comes from you that I, sorry, my English is not so good, but that I can say, you saved my spiritual life, Gurudev, and you saved also my material life. Because I can say this in this round of our family now, um, before I meet you, Gurudev, my life was really painful. It was so painful that I was thinking a um, suicide, really. I want to go to the forest and shoot myself. It was really painful. But then in this condition, I pray to Srila Prabhupada, please help me, Srila Prabhupada, please help me. So the next day, Danu, my ex-wife, she told me, oh, there is a nice uh, wise man from India. He is now visit Vishwadev and they uh, want to make a chapel walk. Maybe you want to join. So in this moment, I, I, it was so clear for me. That's, that was Srila Prabhupada's answer. So when I meet you, Gurudev, you are for me the, um, what I say, the mercy expansion of Srila Prabhupada. You came to me and you saved my life in every direction. Thank you very much, Gurudev. Thank you. And, um, Govinda, I am very proud of you. How deep you realized, I'm proud of you. That's all your grace, Gurudev. All your grace. De Krishna Bhakti, De, De, the person who, who known a Krishna Tattva, say Guru, Means you realize up to so deep that you understand what is the love, divine love. That's when I see every place that pure love. And you ex explain about Jesus. And you say this, you touch my heart. You have to bring insight to divinity, divine thing. Then you can see Krishna. When you can see Krishna, you will, mercy will come of Krishna that you will easily understand your, your relation with him. And that is go through love. And love is the Radhika. So you understand everything. You know, one meeting with me, I'm surprised <laughs> that you are already as many skruti in your life. I'm proud. You see different type of life in material world. And now you are useful for everyone who is suffering. You can help to remove out from suffering. You are really very, very great in life. So I'm proud of you. Your Thank songs. you, Gurudev. More song, more things, and more song right and keep it preserved in one diary. It's very nice. Make one diary of your songs. Thank you. Thank you, Gurudev. Chavo. <laughs> Thank you, Govinda Prem. I'm happy that Guru 
could would have asked you to really make a diary, write down your beautiful songs and poems, which you know are floating out from your heart. That's very nice. You can preserve them and then also keep on sharing with us. Thank you so much, dear. I will do. I will do for sure. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Um, and we have also uh, one more devotee from Croatia. And I would ask uh, uh, Mahabhava Didi uh, to introduce uh, the devotee to us, please. Radhe Radhe. Radhe Radhe. Radhe Radhe. Radhe Radhe. Uh, Here is a, not him because you already know him. <laughs> it's it's Dino Dayal, but we don't want to introduce him. But actually, we would like to introduce a very special, very humble, very wonderful devotee from Serbia. His name is Shiva Prada, and he. This is the first time ever that he will uh, show himself and and introduce himself to us. But he's a long time following and and listening to your lectures, Gurudev. But he has never had the courage to <laughs> actually speak up, and he's all he was always hiding himself. And this is the first time he will actually uh, love to. Um, share his own poems. He's writing such beautiful poems, Gurudev, and he is so devoted to Radhika, and he really needs your blessings, your shelter, and your mercy. And, and now, please give all of you, give support and your blessings to our dear Shiva Prada. He's a long time devotee, 30 years devotee. The first time we I met him, I was 14 years old. I was a little girl, and... Uh, we met him, my friend and I, we were kids, and we were running after him on the street to sell us Bhagavad Gita, and we didn't have any money. So he decided to give us this Bhagavad Gita for free when I was 14 years old. And, and now he's here. <laughs> Thank you. And and we would like to uh, introduce uh, his songs. He, actually, um, we made v such a nice. Um, we are in a synergy. How you call it? The the like a um, compatibility with Labangalatika's painting, my music uh, background, and his songwriting. We kind of get all merged into the same meditations, and it's so amazing how we actually complement each other. And now you will see that when Labangalatika paints some beautiful lilas and she goes into her meditations, and then uh, some amazing um, like inspiration came to me to to make a music for her painting, and then. Shiva Prada saw the painting and he got inspired to also paint to to write poems related to this painting but first we would like you to hear one of his first songs that he wrote uh, it was um, dedicated to Radhika and it's these p poems that he writes they are all his personal meditations personal prayers that he is actually um Praying to Radharani, praying to Manjaris, and and now uh, I will uh, share my screen and uh, the sound, and you will uh, hear you will hear a song that he wrote. First, first, uh, what I uh, will share is a song in his own language. It's in Serbian, and then he will uh, read. Uh, the translation in English. So first is the song that he wrote in Serbian language. Oops. Uh, no, sorry. Even if you don't understand, uh, you just uh, absorb the mood and the feelings. Oh, oh, oh. 
tako rade, dok se sjaj tvog milog lica ne spusti na mesec, na njemu nema svetlosti. O radika, dok se sa tvojih stopalama slačka u cvatu ne začuju zvončići, u šumi vrađe nema muzike. O rade, dok se tvoje oči ne otvore, zora se ne pomalja na horizontu. O svamini, tvog osmeha da nije, lotos u pupoljku se ne bi rascvetao. O najlepša, dok ti vetar ne dodirne kosu, tvoj voljeni se ne opija njenim mirisom, dok mu prilaziš sa vencem od cveta magnolije. Tvoje ruke se boje monsuskim oblakom kada vam se prsti sretnu, a postaju cvetni oltar kada ih spustiš na stopala najdražeg. O rade, nema očiju koje ne bi suzom zaiskrile kada te pogledaju, niti neba koje ne bi sunce iznedrilo kada se pojaviš. Ne postoje usta koja ti ne bi šapnula ime kada te misao prizove. Rade, rade, To je sve što znaju oni čije si sunce u nekim novim jutrima. Ok, rade, rade. Now Shiva Prada will read his poem. In uh, in English. Okay. First of all, I want to thanks to Mahabava and such a beautiful uh, way she introduced me. Can you hear me? Can you yes. give me some, somebody? Yes. Give me yes. Some yes. Did you hear me? Okay. Thank you very much. So thank you very much, Mahabava, for introduce me such a beautiful beautiful uh, way really so uh, first of all i want to uh, offer my dandavas to all assembled vaishnavas here and uh, especially uh, to sadhu maharaj i'm really honored to be here in the front of all of you and your sadhu maharaj i can see following your sanghas for the months i can see that you uh, really in a, such a beautiful way trying to inspire devotees here by your example by your personal example and by your beautiful words actually and uh, so that we can uh, make connection with radhika uh, to to uh, relish her sweetness uh, deeper and deeper so thank you very much it's a really very inspired to me so much so uh, now i will uh, read this song what you hear here now uh, on the english language and then uh, this second uh, uh, we also read the second uh, what what i what is dedicated to manjari section so now is translated for this song to radika Sorry for my uh, imperfect uh, English. I hope you will understand it. O Rade, the moon has no light on its own until your sweet face casts its glow upon it. O Radhika, without the jingling sound of your ankle bells on your dandelion flower blossom like feet, there is no music in the forest of Raja. O Rade, until you open your eyes, there is no dun rising on the horizon. O Swamini, without your loving smile, lotus buds would have not bloomed. Oh, mm. my God. Oh, nice. Beautiful. Oh, most beautiful one. <laughs> oh, most beautiful one. Until your hair is touched by the wind, your beloved does not get intoxicated by its fragrance while you approach him with a garland made of fresh champaka flowers. Your hands, your hands are colored by monsoon cloud when the fingers of two of you meet each other. 
and, the, and they become a flower altar when placed on the feet on your most beautiful, beloved one. O Radi, there are no eyes that would not sparkle with tears upon seeing you, neither a sky that would not get lit up by sunshine as soon as you appear. There is no mouth that would not whisper your name when thought invokes you. Radi, Radi, these words are all that is known to those who have you as their only son in some new dance to come. Thank you very much. Repeat again, again. Again, sir. Shiva Prada Prabhu, beautiful. Yes. Can you can you repeat and maybe read slower so we can relish more and go deeper in meditation if you can read uh, slower the poem again? Thank uh, you. The same uh, poem again? Yes. yes. As, you, as you wish, as you like. Yes. I'm here to serve you, so. Okay, <laughs> I will try slower. So. Just, yeah, read again and slower. Beautiful. <laughs> okay. Lakshan. Okay. okay. This is for, for satisfaction of our Radhika and Sadhu Maharaj. Especially, O Radhe, the moon has no light on its own until your sweet face casts its glow upon it. O Radhika, without the jingling sound of your ankle bells on your dandelion flower blossom like feet, there is no music in the forest of Raja. O Radhe, until you open your eyes, there is no dawn rising on the horizon. O Swamini, without your loving smile, lotus buds would have not bloomed. O most beautiful one, until your hair is touched by the wind, your beloved does not get intoxicated by its fragrance while you approach him with a garland made of fresh champaka flowers. Your hands are colored by monsoon cloud when the fingers of two of you meet each other and they become a flower altar when placed on the feet on your most beloved one. O Radhe, there are no eyes that would not sparkle with tears upon seeing you, neither a sky that would not get lit up by sunshine as soon as you appear. There is no mouth that would not whisper your name when a thought invokes you. O Radhe Radhe, these words are all that is known to those who have you as their only son in some new dance to come. So that's it. Thank you. I hope you understood it properly. Wow. So this is... Maybe uh, these words are not so perfect, but you, I put my emotion here, so I hope that you feel it, actually, this yeah. emotion for Radhika, to have, sure you'll be able to feel this emotion, actually. He, he has another song that is very, very beautiful. And I would like to ask you, Shiva Prada, please read it just in English. I, I um, because mostly I think people don't uh, would better understand if it's in English. Can you read it in English? Oh yes, I will try. I the have second my, one. My, yes, I have it in my phone. So.
Okay, actually, I wrote it. Uh, I wanted to dedicate this to Manjaris, who inspired me to approach the Radhika to relish her sweetness uh, deeper and deeper, as I told you, of uh, what uh, Sadhu Maharaj uh, always trying to inspire us in this way. So, was inspiration also by uh, Lamba Galatika, Didi, by her paintings, actually inspired me to uh, wrote this song about is dedicated to Manjaris. So I will start. O oh, girls of Raja, O oh, you who carry Radha's beloved form in your heart, whose desires are your whole life, whose joy is yours too. She is yours and you are hers. Her smile shines on your face, and from her words, the heart trembles in ecstasy. O oh, girls of Rindavan, are there anyone happier than you? I bring water from hot springs to your feet, so I lower the flower petals to them, praying for your mercy. Show me how to serve her, how to approach her, how can I serve you, dear Manjaris, in whose eyes the whole of Vrindavan rests? To one Vrindavan, whose growths are cursed by the feet of the beautiful Vrindavaneshwari. The one in which she runs to her beloved while you get her scattered jewelry on the grass. The one where the love mm -hmm. Lilas of Yugal Kishore touch eternity, where you are always present like buds around the most beautiful flower, like a breeze that carries its scent to, to the cover her boy, intoxicating him again and again. The dark skinned Shyam, whose heartbeat is heard in her chest, as their hearts become like one when their hands meet. Oh, dear girls, I am a particle of dust, but I long to serve her, serving you. Oh, you who carry light in your hands, illuminate my path, the path to her. All my desires merge into that one, and there is, is there anything more beautiful than that? and the more beautiful desires and more beautiful her, whose sidelong glances steal the heart of the one who, whose palm the whole cosmos rests. O Daimless of Raja, you are the sparkling stars around her, who is the full moon you follow every night when, when she sets out to meet him, who is the blue sky and who always burns in longing. O Manjaris of skillful hands, that you adorn Radha in delight, you are the ones who serve with love, the love itself. And in silent agreement with her dearest, follow her to their kunja, and as she runs to him, and he calls to her with the flute, their longing touch. O Rai, dearest, come to me, the flute calls out. By coming to you, her hands respond as she extends them towards the sound that stuns her. And when they join in an embrace, Vrindavan restless with serenity. That game has no end. And blessed is the who recognize his happiness in this place of love. O oh, dear Manjaris, all that is yours, it hers too, and all hers in herself, it belongs to you as well. Every trembling of the heart, every smile, the blink of an eye, and the joy of, of anticipation, everything that makes her heart flicker, resonates in your hearts as well. O oh, you who are all my joy, please 
light my way. Thank you very much. This is song to Majari. Where, is, beautiful. Where you are hiding, my dear. <laughs> you are so great, so... Wow! This is Prabhupada Kripa. So, to some one small way to try to serve her, you know, so I taking inspiration of all of you, seeing uh, your devotion, your your love to her, and you you inspiring me so much to also try to make to deeper and deeper connect with her. Thank you very much, dears. With all mercy of Guru Dev. This is all mercy of Ananda Baba. <laughs> and must, when I understand Baba's book, then very clear to understand Prabhupada Bhagavad Gita. <laughs> Even Prabhupada Bhagavad Gita, is the, I feel the same vibe is there. That is all same. There is no difference of vibration. One pointer. I give you three point, two, three point. You check the last page and last line in Bhagavad Gita. Prabhupada, you cannot be normal without taking pleasure giving potency circle. Center of pleasure giving potency, we cannot be normal. Hmm. You see, first page introduction, Prabhupada writes the real goal of our bhakti is sarup and sarup siddhi. Gurudev, uh, actually, Shiva Prada would need your blessings and your mercy and, and your help and shelter, but he's shy to say that. <laughs> I, I'm not so shy. I, I just already asked Maharaj, so I, I try just to glorify him, you know. So, so that's the that's the real sign that I need his mercy. Actually, you know, I'm not I'm not glorify somebody like this. You know, I I respect uh, your all your endeavors and your example, as you say that you. Trying oh in such God. a beautiful way to speak oh about God. Radhika. You open our hearts, actually. <laughs> I need your mercy. I oh need my. your mercy. No. Oh, no, my head. Yeah. I need <laughs> I just begging your mercy to help me to approach Radhika and Majaris and Shyam more and more. Please give me your mercy. That is my, this is my request. <laughs> <laughs> you are right. Who become uh, in this path, he always be humble to another people. But I need your mercy that we can listen and share more and more. <laughs> Gurudev, he needs your guidance. He needs a uh, uh, diksha and and uh, guidance as a guru, you know, because he he doesn't have one. <laughs> All is fine. Could you accept him? <laughs> He's always with me. Mm. He's my best best friend. I love him. Thank you very much. Maharaj, I love you too very much. And we all, there is no seniority and juniority. In Manjari Bhav, there is one day difference only. There is not senior and junior. All we are brother and sister, one goal. One goal. 
the goal is radhika i say guru is navigator is not a goal guru is a navigator who catch hand and bring right place navigation job goal is my money and he is a lover I don't know other. I know only my Swamini, and because my Swamini lover, so I like Krishna. <laughs> If he is very naughty, he is very devotee, but I like because he loves. <laughs> Radhe. We don't like Krishna because he is supreme personality of God. We like Krishna because my Swami is lover. Thank you very much for your mercy, Maharaj. So Radhika illuminates so in such a beautiful way from you and all assembled Majaris. You know, it's, it's uh, shining from you. Really, it's a uh, it's a big inspiration for Not me. Not to my name. You see, is a all all of your program. I'm a student. I'm listening. <laughs> it's not a one preacher here every one share and exchange their feelings yes yes but you are beautiful are instruments <laughs> so beautiful instruments actually we are all stu- student and every moment we have to learn mm-hmm. yes and this is the best when there is something to learn Gurudev, <laughs> is it possible for uh, to schedule a private, uh, like a personal, uh, like a uh, conversation with Shiva Prada and you for tomorrow, maybe? Go is it okay? Because, it, because it's his only day when he's not working. Yeah. Okay. Not can organize. I I don't know anything. I can only. We will need. ask Gopinath. Yeah. Honestly, he's a preacher, Gopinath. <laughs> <laughs> And I will introduce you. One more preacher is coming today. Jananda. They are really as a love, and they share, and they do, and I follow both of them. <laughs> This is my service. What they instruct, I do. Thank you, my dear. So proud. to see today thanks a lot uh, once again maharaj i want to say uh, from my humble point of view is very uh, rare to find somebody who can give us such a topic such a information actually in this environment it's uh, not so easy to find someone who giving radha and krishna in uh, such a way really it's a very rare actually opportunity for us to find someone and take the mercy so so i need the mercy or such a rasic devotee like you and uh, all these assembled vaishnavas here who follow the radhika radha and sham in such a beautiful way so what else is that we see rasika bhakta you see 
near Mahavava, my son <laughs> is my son. Sitting there. Until the recently, I didn't associate so much with Rasik Vaishnav, as you know, and then I uh, discover such a treasure, you know, it's a, such a treasure to discover. Mm -hmm. So for many years, it's a, uh, what, uh, I just story, the spiritual life, life open when Radhika came uh, in my life, it is uh, my life, uh, I, I discover real treasure, actually, this. Uh, this is the, this is the one. Yes, big mercy. I open the key to bring inside, give the mercy. So Prabhupada gives a key, key. Ten, ten, you read Bhagavad Gita. Huh? Ten, ten, what was the? What is the you read ten ten Bhagavad Gita? This is the answer what you say. You know the goal, but after you assign that, then really you know. Slowly, but slowly, the answer is Say loudly, right? Then after you sign with Krishna. No, we'll go, boys. You have to come here. When after you signed with Krishna, then slowly and slowly you reach the ultimate goal. And that's Brimbayocha. Where's Germany? Yes. Bhagavad Gita, chapter 10, verse 10. To those who are constantly devoted and worship me with love, I give the understanding by which they come to me. Yes. <laughs> what is the way? Also, it clears the way. Read when you read. <coughs> read full. To those who are constantly devoted and worship me with love, I give the understanding by which they ca can come to me. Worship oh. me with love and I give the understanding by which oh. they come to go me. On, go on. <laughs> Go on, not to stop. Continue yeah. reading. Out of compassion for them, I dwelling in their hearts destroy with the shining lamp of knowledge the darkness born of ignorance. You see. Yes, go on. Arjuna said, You are the supreme Brahman, the ultimate, the supreme abode and purifier, the absolute truth and the eternal divine person. You are the primal God, transcendental and original, and you are the unborn and all-pervading beauty. All the great sages, such as Narada, Asita, Devala and Vyasa, proclaim this of you. And now you yourself are declaring it to me. O oh, Krishna, I totally accept as truth all that you have told me. Neither the gods nor demons, O Lord, know thy personality. Shall I read more? What you are reading, 1010 or other? The 1010, it was this one. To those who are constantly devoted and worship me with love, I give the understanding by which they can come to me. Are oh, you mean the commentary? Uh -huh. um, I only have verses. I don't have the commentaries. Sorry. 
What is the book, Prabhupada? Or the... Yeah, this is Prabhupada's, but I can't find because I'm downloading from the internet. I don't have the book here in and English. And try to understand it, then we will share next time. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, Radhe Radhe. Radhe.